straight down the pipe from both fighters. Phillips looking for that right hand. But Robinson is relentless with those low leg kicks, Mark. Absolutely, yeah. It's a bit of a wild opening. Maybe need to, oh, good left hook there. Phillips, Phillips Fries doing a great job of checking those kicks. And see there, he just evaded out the way. He's felt the power from Robinson yeah. and he's doing something about it. He's landing some nice right hands as well, Idris. Robinson's starting to telegraph those leg kicks. Phillips Fry looking for that check left hook. Robinson needs to keep his hands up. Can't come in and drop that right hand because that left hook counter there is there all day. Absolutely, he's also throwing naked leg kicks as well. You want to set them up with some hands. Oi, leg kick again from yeah. Phillips Fry. Phillips Fry's definitely settled into his rhythm better than uh, Robinson at the moment. A little bit taller. Able to use that jab to keep Robinson away. Nice one, two. <coughs> Phillips Bryce corner's calling out for the one, two body kick. Oh, Ooh. big right hand from and that's Robinson. And just a, a reminder for Idris there that Robinson's still in this fight. Nice knees on the inside being returned by both fighters. Nice stiff jab from Phillips Fry. That's really been working for him this round. If he can start thinking about mixing up these punches and kicks, he could catch Robinson off guard. Throwing singular shots like that gives an opportunity for your opponent to effectively counter or perhaps defend. Absolutely. And we get underway to see if Phillips Fry now is going to disguise these punches and throw punches in bunches, Mark. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he definitely had the better of the first round. You can see now Robinson pressing forward, seeing if he can ruffle Idris's feathers a little bit, see if he can make it a bit of a dirty scrap. Idris looks to have be using the range better. He's obviously taller, jabbing nicely. Robinson's obviously come out to try and make this a, a war. Robinson now trying to place those power punches. He needs to move his head off the centre line. He's doing a good job of keeping his guard a bit higher in this, this second round. Mm. He's still getting caught, though, with that jab. That jab is an excellent punch for Idris at the moment. Being the longer, rangier fighter. And he's got some great footwork. He's able to get out of the danger zone. Mm. So if I was Robinson, you've got to try and get on the inside and throw combos. So we're thinking something along the lines of Tyson. Move that head, get in real tight, land those power shots, load up, talk exactly. that body. Exactly. Superman punch, but he got caught with the right hand. I think he's struggling just to get inside. Idris's jab. He's, he's Superior height proving a factor at the moment. Nice catch. Nice. He's looking to count this. He caught that, that kick and threw a strike straight after. Yeah. Tie boxing 101. Nice. Big heavy punches oh. from Robinson. Robinson just ploughing forward. He can start to implement some lateral movement by side to side, left to right, not come straight down that line because if Phillips Fry is. At, enable himself to get out of that position. If someone's coming straight at you, don't have to think about angles. Mm. So Robinson needs to think about cutting some angles off those punches and counters. You see there he comes forward. Oh, attempted right hand there, but Phillips right, quick off the mark, got the guard up nice and high. You know what, Dean, that's an excellent point you made there about angles. Robinson's not really thinking about angles at the moment. And as you say, coming straight forward makes it really easy for Idris to pick him off. <clears throat> Phillips now, Opting to move, that's exactly what I'm talking about. See that lateral movement, he moved to the side. Yeah, he's using angles. He's thinking his way through this fight. Whereas Robinson's kind of in one dimension, forward and backwards. Yeah, he's really, when he throws those naked leg kicks as well, he's just opening himself up. He's got to put hands in front of him. He's just a little bit out of range there. That was a nice jab as he came in, but it just counters with a left hook. So Phillips Price looking that counter left hook because if you notice when Robinson comes in he drops that right hand, yeah. exposes the chin. Yeah, he's really kind of leaning into his punches because he, he's a little bit out of range, trying to make up that distance with a lean, but that's, that's dangerous. Eats a jab from Phillips. Yeah, again, just out of range with the reply. Oh, oh. snapping jab from Phillips He's right. got a really nice jab, Idris. You could argue that's one of the key parts of the fight he's taken down there with the catch. As I was saying, Idris's jab has been one of the stories of the fight so far. Phillips Fry now 
on the outside. Robinson with a jab of his own, but he's leaving it short. Yeah. He needs to really think about committing to that jab, move that head off the center line and come over the top with that right hand. Yeah, absolutely. When he reaches on the outside like that, it just allows Phillips Fry to pick him off on the outside. Yeah. He's just struggling with the distance, isn't he? He can't quite get close enough to make those punches count. And as you say, with, with not really kind of coming in on angles and stuff, he's making it easier for Idris. He's putting up a good fight, though, don't get me wrong. He's blasting those leg kicks in. You can see there from the left leg of Phillips Fry, it's starting to redden. Yeah, you just oh. check that last one, so it's obviously bothering him. Yeah. He's not got so much spring in his step. You notice when he steps back. Oh, nice knee there on the inside, but Robinson comes charging forward. Robinson's a tough, tough man. There's no doubt about that. Robinson now just peppering those punches out, but they're just too short. Yeah. 